Hey, hi all. Welcome back to the uh, channel. And uh, this is our next podcast in the podcast series. And I'm very much happy to introduce you all. Alok Prithvi with us. So today Alok is going to share his experience on how he has got job during this hard times. That is basically many of you have asked me like Praveen recession is going on, jobs are not there and all those things. So Alok will share his experience, uh, how much hike he got, what were the interview questions, patterns and how he has jumped on to the next level of his career. So over to you Alok, introduce yourself to the viewers. Thanks. Thank you so much, Praveen. Uh, so I am Alok Prudri. So I totally have like six years of experience in this cloud DevOps and SRE uh, background. So I started as a cloud engineer uh, in a data center startup called Pi Data Centers. I've been there for three years. After that, I've switched to Citrix as a senior site reliability engineer. Like within a year, I got promoted as senior site reliability engineer. From there, recently, I uh, got an offer with Autodesk as senior site reliability engineer. So I think that is pretty much of my uh, professional experience that I hold currently. Nice, nice. So I can see that you have total of six years of experience, right? So can you tell me like yes. during your initial days, right? Uh, was What was the first job you got? How you got your first job? And uh, whether it was uh, on campus or off campus, how did you got that actually? Okay, so uh, the first job that I mentioned is of Pi Data Centers, right? So it's a it's a data center startup that they have just started, and it's it's off campus in the sense I had some reference uh, at that point in time, and I have like just uh, gone through and I have just uh, got that job. So, but uh, but the point to remember is like before going to that job, right? So I did all my background uh, courses in the sense I have done my. BTEC uh, with mechanical engineering. Back then, I do not know what what is cloud, what is all of those, right? So, a year I spent completely on uh, understanding what are all these, like what what, what it means to us and how exactly uh, it is uh, impacting the market, business, and everything, right? So, I've done this uh, for one year, like that's what uh, I've done for a year, and after that, like I've just got into there, and that's where my career has shaped into. Okay, great, great. So you are telling that you were part of data center, right? In the initial days. So yes. what do you call that as a data uh, engineer or as a DevOps engineer? What do you call your experience as at that time? No, so uh, uh, in a data center, right? You'll have multiple teams. You may have compute, network, storage and everything. So yeah. I'm part of a compute team as a cloud engineer. So uh, in the sense, we used to kind of manage our own private clouds, like how we do it in AWS Azure, right? So that's what uh, we used to do. So I I, I kind of uh, call myself as a cloud engineer. Okay, okay, great. So uh, what do you think, like, uh, do you think that initial, uh, the career started, right, with the uh, 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 data engineer or cloud engineer? So after that, you have jumped, after three years, you have jumped into Citrix, right? So... How many offers you got at that point of time? What were the interview patterns back then, right? How how uh, the jump was there? Can you just explain few few details about that? Okay, so after uh, my three years, I have like got four or five offers uh, from Deloitte, from Arista. Like I've got multiple other offers from the other companies. So if I have to like think of the patterns back then, right? It's it's only the basics that uh, everyone were looking. So the underlying base, what you have like the, uh, the Linux operating system or like the cloud platform that you're dealing with, right? So I only think of uh, even now, if I'll have to like crack an interview, your base has to be strong. Not that you can like go and bluff something that I did that and this that that will like just work for some reason. But end of the day, it all depends on like what is your underlying base and what the basics is what they look for. Like all these big folks, right? Uh, it's all about process. It's all about uh, like what is there in the system, right? They don't expect you to be very fast. Rather, they would like expect uh, this. They would expect you to be like clean shit in the sense you have to be like. Your base has to be strong is what they expect. Got it, got it. So what were the questions back then? Why why I'm asking this question, right? Because uh, you have recently given uh, many interviews in 2024. But uh, how was that yeah. time like back then? Uh, what were type of interview questions? Did you find some change in the pattern of the interview that is being done in 2024 back then to the 2019-20? Yeah, so the, I, I see a lot of differences and the expectations these days were like increased a lot. So back then, if you just tell 
I know AWS, I know Linux, right? There are multiple other companies who would recruit you. Uh, it, it used to be very easy, right? So now, now it is not just DevOps, it's not just cloud. Now it is SRE, now it's platform engineering. So there are like, there are like many things that is happening in market, right? So we'll also have to keep up to date with all these skill sets that we have or whatever it is. So um, I, I see a very much difference with respect to the interview patterns, with respect to uh, whatever it is going. So if I have to take an example, right back then, you don't need to know any of the coding languages. Like if you, if you're able to just write a small shell script, right, that should be fine for you. Like just, just go and just get this data, do something. Uh, if you're doing a manual task, right, just put all these comments in a shell script, do it in an SS file, give it more uh, permissions and just run it. Right. That's that, that should be fine. But nowadays it's not like that. So the, you are expected to code. Uh, that's even a DevOps engineer, right? Like it's not the basic DevOps, uh, coding is what is not being expected so if you're looking for a company which has a very good reputation in the market and if it has to pay you well right so you have to stress it out like you have to kind of uh, keep your hands dirty with respect to minimum to minimum python and if you are like very much interested go for go so that's what is what the expected uh, market standard as of now. Correct. So, so tell me one thing, like if I, if I have to ask you in 2024, what are the tools mm -hmm. and stack that one has to focus according to your job search criteria? What will be that like count? Can you give the count like one, two, three, four? Yeah. Yeah, so Linux being the base operating system, that's for sure. AWS as a cloud platform, Kubernetes is very bad added advantage at that point of time. And now it is like a basic requirement. Okay, so uh, that point in time, Kubernetes is a very value added advantage. Uh, Jenkins, Git, all the source code controls, the CI process, Jenkins, and CD, the continuous deployment, if you have, if you know any tool or anything. And mm -hmm. uh, like all these monitoring, open source monitoring tools, right? Like Grafana. If, if you know these, all these are added advantage for you. So they only look for AWS, AWS, AWS. That's what it used to be back then. But Correct. yeah. So, so now what are the things that uh, uh, you will uh, like to tell? Like uh, uh, if I, if I am asking you, Alok, can you help me? Like what are the five, six things that are mandatory for 2024 job interview? What will be those? Okay. So if you are like uh, searching for a job interview in DevOps and SRE world, right? So I would, uh, I would come in this way. Uh, you have to be very proficient in one operating system, one cloud platform. I, I'm not, I'm not specifying whether it is like right. AWS, Azure, GCP or whatever it is. So, Operating system is must, cloud platform is must, uh, gen, uh, DevOps tools like uh, you use uh, CI for a tool, CD you have different tools now, right. uh, you have like tests, you do, do it with other tools. So uh, any like security tools is must like you, you use whatever security tooling that you want, that is must. Container orchestration is a must and should requirement like Kubernetes, you, you go for a managed service like EKS, AKS, whatever it is that must. And on top of this, all these observability systems, right? Like monitoring, logging, all these systems are very much required uh, in this standard. And as I mentioned earlier, like uh, uh, scripting and programming language. This is, these are like must things that we'll have to focus if we are like searching for a job uh, in 2024. Got it, got it. So I think that is a uh, excellent thing. Uh, you have stressed on coding. You have stressed on many factors which are related to the 2024 coding. So one yep. major thing which people are looking in 2024 is, is SRE and DevOps same? Are their packages same? And uh, if the packages is same, are the work is same or not? So what do you think? Like what is DevOps? What is SRE? Are the packages same in 2024? Because you are the newest person in the market who has just now did the job search. And uh, luckily we found you on our, <laughs> on our podcast. So just wanted to know from you, like how are the things going on outside? Okay. So I would structure it in this way. Okay. So what I, what I think of on this SRE DevOps, right? So it, it only depends on how the organization is being structured. Okay. So that's what is what I feel. So Taking an example with my current, uh, the previous role that I worked with Citrix, right? It's SRE is not only doing all this observability, all these reliability, availability stuff, right? So we used to kind of build the pipelines. Like we used to write how exactly the CICD process has to look for a service, uh, how exactly it has to kind of uh, deploy a service to a production environment. So all this also we used to do. So I being an SRE, we used to all do all this. So. I would only think it in such a way that like how exactly the organization is being structured and what are the roles and responsibilities they are scattering. 
that's oh. what i feel and with respect to market standards compensation and everything right so again uh, and that's also inclined to what i already already mentioned right so if you are if you are just aiming google who invented sre it might be a different story so mm-hmm. i i would not comment that because like end of the day it, they they know what is a, a responsibility for a devops engineer they have like that key, clear boundary telling only devops engineer has to do this only sre has to do that so but uh, other companies like i don't tell they're not following at all but yeah i think like this is how like there are some companies who actually follow this is what is an sre job role like maintaining the availability of a system reliability of a system and the devops engineer has to work with in developers to kind of see how uh, fast they're like pushing the code to the uh, production or whatever it is so that's that's how i see it got it so both are same in terms of packages can i say uh, can you say like yes or no that's it I can say yes. I, yeah. I will hundred percent say yes in that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Understood. So that was my doubt basically. Okay. That's that's good actually. So tell me one thing. Like people are telling now in twenty twenty four recession has hit hard and the jobs are not there. Yeah. So tell me like is that true or and if it is not true, what were the job portals that has helped you to get jobs? Uh, right from my uh, career uh, starting, I have only used LinkedIn. Uh, I do not have a now career account. I do not have uh, an Indeed account. I do not have any of this to be very honest. So LinkedIn has uh, helped me uh, in getting all these jobs, like uh, whatever jobs I have cracked, right? I only looked at uh, LinkedIn. So I just looked at, look at LinkedIn. If I know someone, I just ask them for referral. Uh, that that would also be helpful. I think that's that's the other thing that I would uh, recommend for uh, the people who are looking for job change. Right, ask for a referral if you know someone in that organization. Okay, so that's that's one thing that uh, I do, and yeah, I think that's what has helped in with respect to uh, your question in terms of recession and everything. Yeah, I, we are seeing a job reduction, but I do not say with respect to DevOps and SRE there are nothing coming up our way, but there are coming up, but for like to take an example in 2020 2021 if you have to switch a job right like there used to be there used to be 20 and there used to be 40 people like it's 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 a bit easy to crack and everything so Correct. nowadays there are only five jobs and all those 40 people are still there so Correct. the competition have increased a lot with respect to what is being expected so that's the reason like uh, back then if you don't know coding or like if you don't know you, nothing right so they used to kind of hire you and they would be like okay fine this attitude is nice he can like kind of just uh, cope up after coming up so they used to think of all those so now that they're getting a candidate with all this skill set like why why should they hire you so that's what is the strategy that is coming up today that's that's great answer i think so tell me one thing like uh, from your citrix uh, during this recession 2024 how many offers you got and uh, can you brief, brief me like those details so that uh, viewers can understand ki are yes still in market jobs are there product based service based whatever offers you got can you just tell so i've got a couple of them one is autodesk the other one i have with thoughtworks and uh, ls the london stock exchange group so i have all these and they were like some many other companies that i that were rejected as well so there are like companies like kong there are companies like uh, next uh, uh thing so yeah there are like few companies who were like uh who have rejected me so i would tell that there is market the product the big product based companies right there are still hiring and uh yeah that's that's what i feel okay good good so what do you think like uh these all are very good companies right kong api or your next thing thought works and your mm-hmm. autodesk right so tell some interview questions which you were given right and uh, uh, just like highlights like okay Praveen I got from this 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 stack and that really helped me because I prepared so that kind of things do you have anything in your mind yeah so few of the things that I would remember is Kubernetes debugging like if something happens to a pod tell me what all things from start uh uh, every every layer, what is the thing that you would like kind of just look at and see how exactly the pod is behaving. And if you have to monitor as being an SRE, uh, this is one other thing that was like very frequently asked with respect to uh, being an SRE, what, uh, what is the best practices that you uh, take with respect to Kubernetes security, with respect to Kubernetes observability, like how best or like if I give you a cluster, like uh, how best you would tell that this cluster is highly available, highly secure and all of those things. So I think most of it is, most of the Kubernetes is covered in that area because they would look for what are the things that you're, uh, you're stressing upon, what are the things that you're 
covering and i think from there all the questions starts with respect to kubernetes and cloud in specific for uh, the experience guys right like they only look for all the scenario based and it would not be like a straightforward one to one questions where in what is ec2 what is eks and all of those if if you are a fresher i think that's what uh, they expect like if uh, you just have to know what is the service what does that service do what the, what does it do and all of those things and i think one other thing with respect to all these product based companies right you'll have to be very strong enough in 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 the current experience that you are right so that's what they look for like how how confident with the current project that you are like how 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 well you are able to deal things and all of those also very much matters for all these big uh, giant companies is what i feel correct correct understood so you got multiple offers right in 2024 tell like uh how much hike you got and which offer did you selected among the three companies uh so because the why i'm asking this question is people are telling like pravin i'm not getting 20% hike people are not ready to give 20% again they are uh, expecting like uh, 30% and there are some people when they get the interview call for the first time they just simply say like i need uh, 50% hike so <laughs> how much hike did you got and uh, what was the uh, process mine was more than 50% uh, for the one that i have got it's more than 50% only uh, come including everything so uh, with respect to uh, compensation and everything right so like i would i would tell that it only depends on company by company so that's that's what like you will have to see if that company pays well or not so looking at uh, what it is what are its products what what does it actually do based on that you'll have to analyze it so you you should have to kind of come up with a number and i would i would not recommend to kind of tell uh, interview uh, like the uh, the uh, recruiters that i need 50% i need 100% right. like right so that's that, that's that, that would be a very uh, it, it would not be a bad impression like everyone would have aspirations that i would need 200% hike to but it's it, it's not possible right so you would have to see what is your current market standard where are you standing based on that you can just negotiate right. uh, once you uh, go through the interview process so just just tell them or let them know that i'm okay with uh, the current standard that you have like if they ask really for a number just go with a number not 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 just go for like 100% 200% or something like that is what i feel correct that's that's really good answer i think that's a very genuine answer though all right we have to always stay in the ground like we have to get first the offer like at least first yeah yeah, yeah exactly no, uske baad, i will do whatever it is so it was really nice talking to you alok and you were really very genuine so tell me one thing like what will be the tip for the viewers who are looking uh, at our podcast uh, what do you want to tell to them yeah so stay focused uh, uh, that's what i would uh, I, i i would do myself if if i have to look for something right so you have to stay focused fail as many as you can uh, that's what i i believe but uh, from that failure right so just learn something out of it so once you are once you feel that it that interview is very bad right like note down all the things that went wrong and for the next interview that you are going through right just kind of improve all the things that were that went wrong in that particular interview so that's it it should be a like continuous process like do, don't just get depressed that you are like not able to clear like 5 6 even 10 20 that doesn't matter like something big is waiting for you stay focused uh, like learn all these things like learn all the current markets market things that were going the booming technologies that were going to just keep up to date of what is what and uh, just get your job search going that's what i, great, I great. thanks a lot thanks a lot alok it was really nice talking to you and thanks for spending your time with us hopefully it will help many of the people because all of them are in the frightened state so your talk has will really ignite them so thanks a lot so that's all for today uh, right so you can uh, if you have liked the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel and that's it from today's video thank you all for watching us take care bye thanks alok again thank you pravin